I'm Megan Abubo. I'm 28 years old. I'm from Hawaii, and this is my story. About eight years ago, my older sister was my age now. Uh, she was diagnosed with breast cancer. She found a lump. Um, her boyfriend actually found the lump, which was really um, ironic. He found the lump, and um, she, her, all her doctors were like, oh, you're too young. There's no way um, it, it's anything. But then she got the biopsy, and it turned out to be positive. It was kind of a blessing that they caught it pretty early, but it was a really big blow to our whole family because my sister was somewhat of like a mom to me, even though she was just my sister because we lost our mom when we were pretty young. And so I didn't really think that she could get affected by it because she was so young and it, it you know, cancer wasn't, in, breast cancer wasn't in our family. My sister was so healthy. She was a triathlete. You know, it was something that kind of made us get a little bit closer because, um, I'd never seen my sister like in that kind of vulnerable state and so it kind of made me have to step in and and I found parts of you know courage that I didn't even know that I had and uh, it also made me like more aware and uh, of and let some of my friends know that you know this can happen to you and you're the same age as my sister and you should really you know give yourself self breast exam but just recently um, a few years ago my sister was diagnosed again with breast cancer and um, they told her she was probably going to, she had like a 75 percent chance because she was so young that she was going to get breast cancer again but we just didn't think it was going to be so soon and um, so she decided to get a double mastectomy and she is now 36 years old with a you know double mastectomy but she's a cancer survivor now and she's changed her lifestyle a lot. She's doing a lot more things I think to give back also. My sister's involved in so many things and um, does a, always sends me things on like uh, walks that she did or I don't know causes that she did so it you know she's to me she's the most inspirational person in my life um, and the things that my sister has been through has you know made me realize that I have like no room to ever complain about anything because my sister doesn't complain about anything and she's so positive and if you met her you wouldn't even know that she was affected by breast cancer and uh, I think that that's how everybody should live their lives and I just think that it's been something that has has really touched my heart and touched our whole family and I don't think that you know we we would be the kind of people we would be without amazing enough this kind of this happening to us art education awareness action keep abreast